One wish every parent has for their son or daughter is that they meet someone that they want to be with. But the real question is, is it someone that they can't be without? And I think that's where we have uh, Brittany and Ryan. I see how they look at each other and how they treat each other, and it's easy to tell they were meant to be together. We first met Brittany, and Debbie and I were very impressed. She was so easy to be with, easy to talk to, easy to be around. And after we met the family, we understood why. It's just like the parents, very easy to be with, and the rest of the family, just wonderful people. Ryan, your mother and I are very proud of you, of the man you've become and the joy you brought us over the years. Brittany, we welcome you and your family into our family. May both of you find the same joy in each other that Debbie and I have found all these 47 years. I'd like you to raise your glasses and a toast to Ryan and Brittany. May you have years of happiness together and cherish each other always. God bless. In November of the 2019, Ritten Collin gave me a call and said, Dad, can you get us tickets to the Rangers Carolina Hurricanes hockey game at Madison Square Garden? Well, thanks to my good buddy and former neighbor Don Plaus, who's a top executive at Merrill Lynch and here with us tonight, we scored seats at the main Bank of America luxury box at the Garden. Don, in the category of no good deed goes unpunished, beginning tonight, the Antonacci's and Lilu's are holding you personally accountable for the future of this new couple. It's a little bit deja vu for me, because as I look out, I see a couple I married 40 years ago, Brittany's mom and dad. It's a great joy to be able to be a priest in this ministry and to see the next generation. And so it's an honor for me, Ryan and Brittany, to be here with you today. Hi, Ryan. Take you, Brittany, for my lawful wife. Hi, Brittany. Take you, Ryan, for my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until death Until death part. part. We were greeted at the garden that night by a young financial services manager from Merrill who introduced himself as Ryan Antonacci. And he was visibly very happy. Happy, we later learned, because of the numerous drinks he had pounded down. He got even happier after I introduced him to my beautiful daughter, Brittany. I know I felt like this before And reminds me what I've been missing After the game, Ryan tried to muster the courage to ask for Brittany's phone number, but he couldn't get the words out. Brittany finally said, are you trying to ask for my phone number? And for reasons that only a woman can understand, she gave it to him. And two days later, they went out on their first date. When I saw you for the first time. Ryan raised me in many ways. And I had a moment to think about, well, should I be upset to be his little brother? Or should I be proud to be his little brother? What does it mean when someone calls me his little brother? You can understand a person's character by the character of their company. Watching them go through some of the hardship of losing a friend throughout college and going off and having a career and going through the crises in 2008 and having to deal with the world. As a younger brother, I got to watch him navigate that and do it elegantly and keep his moral foundation sound and come out to the man he is today successful, handsome, still weird. It's someone who I've always tried to emulate growing up. So tonight, we celebrate a remarkable love story where fate and destiny played a major role in this new union. So let's think about that in regard to all of us being here in Asheville, North Carolina in this grand setting this weekend. Totally the result of two siblings wanting to spice up a holiday family tradition by going to a hockey game. 
And then, boom, something magical happens between two compatible young souls that I would submit have been searching for each other for a long time. They say as little girls grow older, they dream about a fairy tale romance and a storybook marriage. I think my little girl has gotten both. me a great pleasure and honor on behalf of the great states of North Carolina and New York and the Holy Roman Catholic Church to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Antonacci. <laughs> One of the first times Brittany spent the night at my house, her mom was going to be about 10 minutes late picking her up. For the record, Dee Dee was never late. Brittany proceeded to somewhat pace around in my room back and forth deciding how she was going to break this news to my mother. Fast forward to this big, big moment when she was going to share this information. My mom's response was, Honey, I honestly didn't even know you were here. <laughs> Come to think of it, I'm pretty thrilled that this is probably the first time the Lelous are, are hearing this story because I'm not sure that you had been allowed to come back over after something like that. Uh, and seeing as it was a little bit of a different security situation set up at the Lelous house, i.e. Brittany, window, open. <laughs> May they have a lifetime of good health, happiness, and fun together. And God willing, some offspring along the way as well. And now, honoring the seven nationalities that make up this new couple's DNA, in Italian, salute. Albanian, gazur. Irish, salancha. Greek, opa. Slovak, nazdravia. German, prost. And in good old proud to be American English, cheers. Enjoy the evening and thank you all for being here with us. suggestions for a happy life with Brittany. Number one, to bring it back to the math terms, Brittany's smarts are greater than her ditziness. However, don't let her live down those ditzy moments. It's good for her. <laughs> Number two, trust her fearlessness while also giving her a little space to overthink. You will end up in the right place if you do. And number three, never doubt her loyalty. Brittany will be there for you no matter what and always know that you are the luckiest man in the room. I couldn't be more proud to be little Dylan, who was raised by Big Ryan, and now by Bond. The love I feel for Ryan, the love I feel for Brittany, the entire Lilo family, and everyone I have met, this same goes for you. You are now family, the bond is strong forever, and I am so proud, Ryan, to be your little brother. Thank you. So, if everyone can raise a glass, I just want to say cheers to the newlyweds. Cheers. Cheers.